Hey everybody, it's Austin here from Chog Media. I'm excited because today I'm going to be taking a day trip over to Atlanta, Georgia for the annual Atlanta Film Festival. It's one of the biggest film festivals in the country, accepting movies from all over the world, so I'm excited to check it out. I've got a slate of some really cool shorts, documentaries, and narratives that I'm going to be seeing today. It's a lot of stuff, and I'm excited to see how it goes. Alright guys, so I just got back from the first screening of a block of short films here at the festival and it was a lot of fun. This section of short films all had to do with different characters looking to find a home essentially. We had stories from all over the place. We had stuff not only from here in the US, but we had films from Venezuela, things from Norway. There were some great projects here. My favorite one was a film from Norway about an African Norwegian girl and her experiences growing up there in an apartment building portraying events a combination of stop motion and individual frame animation where she's taking little playhouses essentially that she's building of these sets of her childhood and setting them up so she could film it as if she were doing say a stop motion film. A problem with a lot of short films is you see if someone is enamored with the setting of their story that they just do a whole bunch of act wanting. They set something up whatever story world their characters are in but then they don't have any conflict they don't have any point what's the point to it? They just kind of describe a whole bunch of stuff and they never go anywhere. Another one was a really good Italian film about these boys trying to get enough money to get passage to the beach from their inland town and it was really really cute, it was really funny. Because they were working with children actors, it wasn't the best performed of the short films that I saw, at least of the fiction films, but it was interesting and I'm excited to see what the rest of the projects the day has to offer. Alright, I just got out of the films for the day here at the festival and man it was a fun day because I saw a really good uh, documentary and a really good fiction film, another narrative feature that really stood out in particular. The narrative film, it was called A Song for Imogene which was really really interesting and it had a little bit of a flavor of a movie called Matriarch which I saw a couple of years ago at the Cobb International Film Festival and it reminded me a lot of the Shia LaBeouf vehicle, The Peanut Butter Falcon which is another great movie I really enjoy. This movie was a really really interesting take on a woman who's in an abusive relationship and wants to get out of that situation she's found herself in. Just got back from the festival and I can safely say it was a great experience going over there. Even outside of the actual films themselves, I was able to talk to some of the volunteers who were helping out spending their weekend over there, volunteering at one of the two different venues that I was at. So I encourage people who might be skeptical, would something like a film festival be for me? If you're interested in the arts, not even just those who are interested in getting into it or being involved in making films or shorts or something like that in your area, find a film festival. If you're interested in just the arts in general, you want to support your local community, they had people from all over the state that were going and they were volunteering their time on a day when they could have been doing anything else. Again, because when you go to a festival like this, you're going to get a variety of stuff. You're going to get some some high budget and some low budget independent things. You're going to get some things from bigger studios that are sent in. So you never know what you're going to get. And that's all I have to say about that. Support those around you in the arts and in your community, just like you would if you were to go to say your local museum or a community theater or a concert for a young independent artist. Thank you so much guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video, me sharing a little bit about my experience over at the Atlanta Film Festival. I hope you'll like this video. I hope that you'll share it with people that you know that might enjoy content like this and stay tuned for more here at Chog Media.